start. I, I don't know how big of a skate park you need, depending on how many people you're going to have there each day. If the project were to start as like half the size and see what the noise was like and to whether it would be then expanded to double the size, if that would even make any sense. Um, and what size do you need for how many people you're going to have there at one time skating? You know, how much square footage you need? Depending on how many people. I'm just wondering, noise-wise, if that would be <coughs> down, and if you would, you know, if it's an idea of just trying to try it out to see how people felt about it. Well, there, there are scenarios where it would be, where it could be built in phases, mostly probably dictated by funding. If we had, you know, by we have a certain amount of time to build this park. So you know, if, we, if by some strange, by some chance we're four years in and we've got 150,000, we may build a $150,000 uh, know, park for, you know, with, with, with that funds we have then. Um, I, I think by the time we get, to, if, we, if this makes it through the development review board, noise scrutiny, then I, I'd be pretty confident that a half size or full size park wouldn't really be a big factor. I'd like to give people an opportunity to make last comments if they'd like. I do want to remind uh, folks that, you know, by providing this drawing, as, as I've said, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. We do want to provoke conversation. We've already altered it in some ways to show um, different aspects of it. We also want to provoke excitement amongst the, amongst the potential users um, and the parents of the users so they can actually start to visualize um, what that will be like. And it's really a necessary tool also for us to have to share with people who might help fund the project and support the project. And they see something like this, we've had professional landscape architect go into his time to construct something like this. It's something we can share and um, help convey the seriousness and the, and the skill behind this project. Um, people have any, left, any other comments that they can make? Just one thing about noise. Uh, you'll never get woken up by a skateboard park in the morning, I swear. <laughs> Mostly teenagers and peak traffic hours from about after school, three o'clock till seven p.m. is when the majority of traffic goes through skateboard. Those are times when most people are awake and other noises are occurring as well. And I've been on Western Avenue enough to anticipate the noise level there during those hours to be nothing more or less than the empty noise of a skateboard park, particularly one made of smooth concrete. I, I can't imagine it being a skate park outweighing other ambient noises during those hours. Really. Well, the weekends, the, the street is much quieter mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be quiet in the park. Yeah. Can I have just a couple quick comments? Um, the one thing about the design is, uh, I'm actually the person that, I joined up with the group in the spring. Um, One thing about the design is that this might as well just be, you know, filled with hash marks, because it's really just to get comments from people like yourself. Uh, I felt that there wasn't enough community involvement in this project to begin with. I saw a lot of people that were involved that were skaters and, and interested in building the park, but people that were around the park, there weren't a lot of people uh, engaged, uh, at least not that we were hearing from them. We were hearing just, you know, emails here, emails there, but nobody was coming into the meetings that I was attending. And I also felt like um, there is a certain amount of, you know, pushing things through in Brattleboro that doesn't get a lot of discussion. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, people who live in the area had their, you know, their fair shot at, at, at creating the comments. So as far as the design is concerned, this thing might as well just be full of hash marks. This is to, you know, get you guys to talk about it. But it's also to get you know kids and parents and businesses and so on and so forth interested in seeing that there's something happening, so that maybe they'll start you know giving some money. Basically, um, there are competing concerns with security and sound abatement. Um, sound abatement actually is something I know a lot about because I've been a concert promoter and a nightclub owner, uh, done concerts worldwide, um, and you know huge arena concerts and so on and so forth, so I understand a lot about sound abatement. And there are ways, you know, like Adam was saying, to build berms and that sort of thing that would be attractive. The only problem is it does cut down on, you know, visual uh, uh, that a police officer going by in a cruiser can actually take of the area. 
that's one thing that is going to be a competing concern, and we have to decide as a community which we would, we would prefer if, in fact, this site is uh, the final resting place for, for this project. Um, the other thing that, that I wanted to address was your concerns about gender and um, the racial links of the group. Uh, gender and age. And well, a lot of kids here. Too. Well, that's the thing is that there has been a lot of concern amongst ourselves about kids. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, Jeff's son, Patrick, comes to every meeting. He's 16 years old. He just can't make it tonight. Uh, we've engaged the community. We went to the back of the bands, for example, on Friday night with all kids. And now and now is trying to get kids involved. Getting kids involved in the planning stage, extremely difficult. We've had, you know, some stuff going on with the high school. We've gone over there, you know, trying to get them to help us write letters and this sort of thing. We anticipate that they will be involved as soon as they see us all making something happen that's more tangible than an idea, more tangible. As far as gender is concerned, our treasurer is a woman, Francine, is here. Um, we've been reaching out to other women in the community who also skateboard to get them on board with the group. For racial diversity, that was one of my concerns, actually, when I moved here. My wife is African-American, we have a daughter. Uh, we moved here from Jersey City, New Jersey, a very, very diverse community. And it's very difficult to um, uh, uh, find people that have some of our you know, shared experiences. Um, and we would openly accept people onto our group if there were people to reach out to. Um, you know, so if you have ideas about how to reach folks, I'd be on our group.